going to go through and break down my profits in Amazon FBA. And we're also going to be providing straight to the point facts about how you can improve your Amazon business, become more profitable and implement some processes to allow that. Hi, welcome back to my channel. I've not done a video in a while here. I just wanted to do a quick one today, really just to track my progression, show you some realistic numbers, and how, I'm, how I've been able to make this sort of profit that I'm about to show you. Also touching on a big point, which is not neglecting high ticket items. So this is Amazon FBA. This is an app called Sell Toolkit. And we're just going to go through and see everything profit wise. So today we've done £822 in sales with £270 in profit. You can see straight away there that this is high ticket items. It's nearly £100 every single item. I think it works out to be about £90 or something. The ROI is 70%. So I've just finished my work. It's currently 4pm. So there's still a lot more sales to happen in the day. And we've made £270. If we just go on there, I just want to go to a different time frame really quickly and just touch on this. So the last 30 days, we've done 10k in sales. We've done 2k in profit. Well, 2.1k. This doesn't include my cash back. You can actually implement your cost of goods into Seller Toolkit. So you, if you wanted to calculate the cash back and have this figure here, include your, the cash back, you could, but it doesn't. The cash back works out to be about four or £500. So it's really about £2,500 in profit in 30 days. And in fact, it's actually in about 12 days. If I bring your attention down here, you can see that I took December and the most of January off, so here there's literally no sales, barely. It's a couple hundred pounds here of like dead stock that I, that I sold off. There's virtually no sales here, up until about the 6th. The 6th is when some stock landed and the trajectory's been up ever since. This is when I started buying on the 22nd. I've been heavily buying and heavily ramping up my, my purchasing spend. It's all about the spend at the end of the day. The more you, the more you spend, the more you're going to make. So I've been really ramping up every single day. I've actually been spending you know, hundreds of pounds, sometimes thousands of pounds. Um, I think I spent a thousand pound, five hundred one day when I was really deep into source. But we'll touch on sourcing in a little bit. Just to go back through the numbers then, so 2K, about 2.5K profit in 12 days. The cost of goods to create this profit is £5,700. So that's how much I had to spend on products to create £2,000 in profit. Let's just touch on a different time frame. In the last seven days, we've done 48% ROI, 79 units and 6,400 sales with £1,666 in profit. Again, this is with high ticket items. A lot of them are high ticket. Now, I'm not neglecting... The, the smaller items, you know, buy for 10, sell for 20, they're still in the portfolio. But what I see, what I think a lot of people do is neglect the high ticket items just because there is more risk. You know, if that, if that gets damaged, if a customer returns it, there is a higher risk. But if you can do it with volume and do it, you know, with a lot of different high tier, high ticket items, you can really start to scale this and you can actually spend more. So if you're buying something for £10 and selling it for 20 um, you know, it's going to be hard to spend a thousand, two thousand pounds. But if you're buying products for two hundred pounds or a hundred pounds, and, and you know, flipping it to make some good profit, um, you can really start spending it and putting a lot of capital in, into it if you've got that capital readily available. It's worth noting that even on these smaller ticket items, so the things that are costing you ten and selling to twenty, let's say you do buy something for ten pounds, you flip it for twenty on Amazon, you're making three pounds. You know, if you've got quite a lot of volume on that, that can really add up. But what I will say, I prefer selling something, you know, you bought for 100, selling it for 200 and maybe making 30, 40 pounds. And maybe possibly more if you're selling it for that. It's worth noting that the, the source and what I've done here, how, how I've done this to source. I think spreadsheets are a very big one. Every single day, um, I get up early. I get up at about 4 a.m. Now, you don't need to be getting up early. That's not what I'm saying. But what I'm saying is putting some deep, hard work into the actual sourcing. The sourcing is going to be your most valuable task at the end of the day when it comes to Amazon FBA. Right? I get up at 4 a.m. 
that's not for everyone, right? Um, but it certainly is for me. And um, I get up at 4 a.m. I source for about three, four hours every single day. And what I'm doing is building spreadsheets. So let's say I'm sourcing. I come to a site and there's a product that's out of stock. Most people would just move on from that. What I would do, if it's a profitable product, I'd be copying the link, I'd be putting it in a spreadsheet, and that's my out-of-stock spreadsheet. And I'll check that every single morning so that when it comes back in stock, I'm the first there at 4 a.m. to pick up that product, buy it, and get it that sent into Amazon. Typically, I'm getting up at 4, sourcing until about 8, driving to work, coming home. When I get home at about you know 4, 5, or 6, just depending on what shift I'm working, then I'll be packing up stuff and sending that off to Amazon. So yeah, man, it is real hard graft. Also, keeping buy sheets so every every single thing you buy you need to be you need to be keeping spreadsheets, guys. Every single thing that you buy, and when it when you send it into Amazon and when it sells and it goes out of stock, the first thing you should be doing is going on and just replanning, going on to your spreadsheet, clicking on the link and replanning. So spreadsheets are absolutely vital, and don't neglect the high ticket items. That is going to be the summary of this video. And I mean, I'm no expert, but I'm becoming a little bit more competent in this sort of space, and it, and it is really just the beginning. There's way more experienced people in this space, and they're dropping absolute bombshells of knowledge, very informative, and most importantly, free content that allows you to become profitable. Just to mention a few, you've got a part-time thrifter who owns level 60 and level 99. Um, you've got Gidiminis, you've got Kaylin Martin, You've got all these people that are, you know, you've got Thomas Parkinson from Fast Track FBA, you know, shout out to all of these guys, man. Um, very informative and very good content that allows you to actually become profitable and actually create some wealth. And there's, you know, there's loads of helpful people in the community as well. But it really is bizarre. I really do love doing this and I really am passionate about doing the, the Amazon FBA. And when you see it creating, you know, figures like this, I mean, yesterday... You know, I couldn't, I couldn't earn that on a job just now. I mean, I'm 20 years old. To be making 1,800 sales and 350 quid in profit, I mean, that's just unmatchable just now. What I will say, if this is something that interests you, if Amazon FBA interests you in these figures, this is the last seven days, last 30 days, if these figures look appealing to you, definitely subscribe for more like Amazon content, you know, just trying to help your business out and you can just, just sort of keep up to date on my business and how I'm performing and what I'm doing to, you know, scale this business up. But yeah, thanks for watching this video. I appreciate that.